Cutting the high cost of big government, our I-Team looks at the drive to save money and still provide the same services taxpayers expect. News Center 7's Jim Audie shows us one way it's being done and asks if it saves money, why don't government agencies do more of it? We're at a brand new installation on the Wright State University campus. Dan Pape of Wright State showing us around the new $3 million facility for storage of road salt. This is going to be really busy here the next couple of days sure as will. they come in. Yeah, and we're moving our operation as well from its current location. It's a big improvement over their old facility. The salt barn itself is a 3,000 ton storage capacity. Our existing site was only 400 tons. What makes this unique is that it serves not only Wright State, but also the Ohio Department of Transportation and two local cities. This joint venture is designed to save taxpayers money. Uh, it is an opportunity to get a modern facility in a location that improves ODOT's efficiency to get salt on the road and to help keep motorists safe. The local cities involved are Beaver Creek and Fairborn. Salt for their streets from the new facility could be just the beginning of the cities and the state working together more often. Faced with the possibility that we could see more of this kind of intergovernmental cooperation to save money, taxpayers are telling us, yeah, go for it. I believe any time when units can get together and collaborate on something, and especially if it's something that's going to save the taxpayers money, I mean, that's got to be a plus. So if it works here, why don't we see more of this? When you know you're not going to be taken to the cleaners, when you can rely on somebody, then you're much more willing to cooperate, and that's a hard thing to establish. Professor Myron Levine at Wright State has studied government collaboration for decades. He says state and local governments can work together, but there are barriers that keep them apart. Citizens are often suspicious when they find that they're working beyond, you know, their government is making decisions with others beyond the reach of their community. And politicians, of course, are naturally cautious. The opening of the Wright State facility comes just as the state of Ohio is pushing more money into local collaboration projects, hoping the investment pays off. In Fairborn, Jim Otte, New Center 7. So far, the state has spent more than $31 million on grants and loans to cities and counties. It's to pay for changes designed to improve efficiency. Everything from new radios for Xenia police to ways to improve vehicle maintenance in Dayton. If you have an idea for a future I-Team investigation, now's the time to call us. Our hotline number, 937-673-6310.